Hi guys, as you know, uh, my name is Kameli and today I'm going to take you to Shandot Street because I'm going to do something that side and I may vlog again just for my English speaking or my English viewers, you know. As you know, I've started vlogging in English. Most of my videos were in Swahili from Bukavu, Vira, Goma. And if my Tanzanian friends, Kenyan friends could pick up some words, not some words we have common words. It's the same Swahili that we speak, but ours is more mixed with French. Theirs is more mixed with English, you know. Uh, so today uh, I'm going to Shandon and I'm going to pass by Shandon Bell again and I'm going to plot something. But on the way, I'm going to do random stuff because when you're a content creator, if you see something curious, you always try to capture the moment, you know, you always try to shoot it and choose the certain subject. That will, but I know, I know, I'm just, I just don't want to go to Shandon, do some boring stuff. If I find interesting stuff on the way, I'm going to mix it in this vlog. Okay? I hope you enjoy. Let's go. As I said, I'm going to speak. If there's something to speak about, I'm going to speak about it. And I hope you enjoy this vlog. Let's go. Yumba, 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 Yumba. Can you imagine? You see this uh, small road here. <laughs> we have these types of roads in. Cork, you know, they are too small. Can okay? you imagine this is two ways, you know, which is disgusting because how, how can two cars pass each other here, you know? So, welcome to Cork. So, I'm in my neighborhood, you know, my building is just there behind me. I don't want to show you my place anyway. It's so private, so yeah. So this is Cork. I think As you can see, uh, we are at the St. Mary Church here in Cork. And I remember when I came to this country, like, uh, there used to be a community center up there. They were providing internet because back then the internet, internet was so expensive. Not everyone could afford the price. Like when we were coming here, there's no, there was no job and stuff. So there was a... A community center there which was providing internet to asylum seeker. Anyway, I came to Ireland as an asylum seeker and I got all my papers and stuff. Yeah, but thanks to God, you know, uh, life is not easy in accommodation center. But back behind me, there was a community center up there and NASC as well, which is the um, provide legal assistance to. Uh, immigrants you know and uh, the foreigners in this country you know so um, as I said in uh, my introduction I'm gonna be <laughs> improvising I'm gonna uh, uh, be shooting stuff that come to my mind that's the content creator and I just remember uh, right that uh, this place is so familiar to me and closer to me okay Today we gonna explore briefly the historic quarter of Shandon and uh, the two landmarks and symbol of the city that are on these sites, you know. Uh, 
the church of Saint Anne. Uh, this church is a church of Ireland located in Shandon district of Cork City in Ireland. Built between 1722 and 1726, it's situated on a hill overlooking the river Lee, as you can see. The church tower is the noted landmark and symbol of the city, and the church bells were popularized in the 19th century. For, for the rest of the history, because I'm not going to go through everything, but here you can find the Grand Center, which is used now to give dance lessons and dance practice. But also there is the Butter Factory or the Butter Museum. Island is uh, very rich in milk, cow milk. And uh, when you speak about cow milk, you see butter as well, which comes from the cow milk and, yeah, from the milk anyway, you know. But also, you can see uh, uh, the St. Mary's Church uh, on this site as well. Those are few stuff that you can visit here. There was also a sweet shop down the road. I don't know if it's still operational with all these uh, pandemic restrictions, you know. But yeah, enjoy the view. Right now, I'm at the Shandon Bell. This is the main entrance, you know. It's a nice door, a very vintage, antique door, you know. Um, I'm gonna take you guys here, but because of the lighting, you know, it's already four o'clock and we are in winter. So the lighting is not good. Uh, this other angle of the church, you uh, can time in Shandon, and that's where the, the tower and the bell is. At. I'm always late every time I come here, uh, so it's closed already. I can't even take you inside to try other amenities which are inside the church, you know. But yeah, Shandon is one of. Uh, the heritage monuments, you know, or building here in Cork. If you are a tourist coming to Cork, you can't leave Cork without visiting this place. It's a must, you know. It's a must. So I'm doing this uh, for people who are willing to come and visit Cork, or people who have left the city and uh, haven't visited the city for so long. Uh, just to remind you that there's the beautiful places and uh, beautiful activity to do in the city. So I'm gonna bring you guys and I hope you enjoy. So we are in the compound of St. Anne Church, St. Anne's Church here on Shandon Historic Quarter. Um, so everything is closed but there's a small park here where you can uh, come and relax, sit or even walk your dog uh, and take the side as well. Yeah, so you see people there walking their dogs and the young fellas are enjoying playing music and you see churches here yeah, they are surrounded by um tombstones you know there's tombstones all over the place i think they always bury priests 
that they've served the church around the place as well. Chris Caps on the beat. Botson din de tindinga yawe ko yali bosona yo. Na manso sale langa na oyo ozoko sala. As I was saying, uh, I, I, I think you have enjoyed the, the Cork Shandon Bell, you know, that's where we at right now. You have seen everything, I hope you enjoyed. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take you to another St. Mary and Anne's church. They are sisters church, or churches, you know, sisters, sisters, sister churches. That's the English word, yeah? Sister churches. Not sisters churches. No, you can't do that. Sister churches. Uh, St. Mary and St. Anne. You understand? Mary, the Virgin is so respected here. Yeah? This is a Christian uh, country, I told you. This is a Christian country. Uh, I think 80% of the population is Catholic, you know? And that's why. Just churches everywhere, and the most beautiful buildings here in this country are churches, you know. The Catholic Church uh, have really invested, you know, uh, in this country, in building, you know. Uh, so, I'm taking you to St. Mary's now. I hope you enjoy. Okay, um, behind me is the Denaga. Um, Accommodation, you know, uh, that accommodation belongs to Fred. And um, yeah, people serving these churches. Uh, right now, I'm standing in front of uh, St. Mary's Cathedral in Cork, which is so beautiful. And I hope you're gonna enjoy it. I'm just gonna take you around it and yeah, show you places, you know. Thanks. <laughs> Yonde ma forteresse, dans la détresse, Jéhovah comme un aïe. Kuma manzambe, mokeli, nanyo, so ilonga nanga. Bouton dinde, tindinga, yawe, koyali, bouton aïe. Naman sur sa. As I said, we are at St. Mary. Uh, oh, St. Mary, yeah? I hope I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's St. Mary. So, and I hope you're enjoying, yeah? You sh you're watching all the views, aerial views, you know? And I'm gonna take, uh, uh, I'm gonna show small details as well. That I'm showing you, I'm showing you small details of the church, the beauty of this church as well. I hope you are enjoying, okay? The Cathedral of St. Mary and St. Anne, also known as St. Mary's Cathedral, the North Cathedral or the North Chapel, is a Roman Catholic cathedral located at the top of Shandon Street in Cork. It's the seat of the Bishop of Cork and Ross and the Mother Church of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Cork and Ross. Its name derived from the fact that it encompassed the ecclesiastical parish of St. Mary and the civil parish of St. Anne. The cathedral is both the seat of the Bishop of Cork and Ross and the parish church for the cathedral parish which includes the areas of Blaney Street, Shandon and Blackpool. There you go. Uh, thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, this vlog. Turn in for more, subscribe, 
recommend our channel invite your friends you know our content and stuff uh, yeah we need your support and uh, thanks for those who are watching and thanks for the new viewers that are really gonna subscribe to this channel until the next vlog peace